Hi, this is Zoe Williams, Youth Services Librarian at University Park Public Library, and today I'm reading Magnets Push, Magnets Pull by David A. Adler. This book was illustrated by Anna Raff and published by Holiday House. Magnets Push, Magnets Pull. A world without magnets would be a world without computers, printers, cell phones, televisions, vacuum cleaners, and microwave ovens. It's a magnet's invisible pulling and pushing force called magnetism that helps power all of these devices. Magnets are attracted to anything made of iron, steel, nickel, or cobalt, and some less plentiful metals, including neodymium and samarium. There are two kinds of magnets, simple magnets and electromagnets. You are probably most familiar with simple magnets, the, fine, the kind you find in toys or use to hold papers to your refrigerator doors. Do you have a simple magnet? If you do, you can use it as a metal tester, but be careful with it. Do not bring it close to a watch, clock, computer, television, or any delicate instrument. It could damage them. Test some U.S. coins. Does your magnet stick to any of them? It shouldn't. U.S. coins aren't made mostly of iron, steel, nickel, or cobalt. Pennies, nickels, dimes, and quarters are mostly copper. Place your magnet on the hood of a car. Does it stick? It should. Most cars are made from steel. Now take a few cans from your pantry. Does your magnet stick to them? It may stick to some and not to others. Some cans are made of steel. Others are made of aluminum. Simple magnets come in many shapes and sizes. If you have a magnet of any size, you can use it to test the force of magnetism. Place a few steel paper clips on a table or any flat surface. Put the magnet on the same surface about one foot away. Slowly move the magnet toward the paper clips. You're just moving the magnet, but the paper clips will soon be moving too. They'll slide across the table and stick to the magnet. Your magnet's invisible pulling force pull the paper clips across the table. If your magnet is strong enough, it will work through paper, water, and glass. Place a paper clip on a sheet of paper. Hold the magnet beneath the paper. Without ever touching the paper clip, you should be able to use your magnet to move it. Now drop a few paper clips in a shallow bowl of water. Hold your magnet at the surface of the water. If the magnet is strong enough, it will pull the clips through the water. With a really strong magnet, you would be able to hold it against the side of the bowl and move the clips on the other side of the glass. Electromagnets, sometimes called on and off magnets, use electricity to create their magnetic fields. When an electric current passes through a wire, it creates only a weak magnetic field. Wrapping a wire with an electric current flowing through it around an iron rod turns the rod into a magnet. The tighter the coils of the wire, the more it turns, and the stronger the electric current, the stronger the magnet. If the electric current is turned off, the electromagnet loses its power. That's why they're sometimes called on and off magnets. Electromagnets are used in buzzers and bells, computers, televisions, and many other electric devices. They power all electric motors. You can't see magnetism, but you can see what it does. It's difficult to imagine a world without magnets. The end.